Hi everyone, in today's episode we're going to make this cute little sensory taggy toy. This toy I call Mr. Sun because it's kind of like look like the sun. You can hang this in the crib or you can also um, attach this to the stroller or the car seat and it will get your baby um, busy just playing with this and pulling the tag. And this is made out of a uh, felt fabric so it's very soft and uh, you can find this easily in, the, in your local fabric store. I got mine from Joanne. This is a cute little project that I believe you should give it a try and it's so much fun to make. So we're going to start our tutorial pretty soon. If you have any question at all, leave me a comment down below. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. For this project, you're gonna need a quarter yard of felt fabric in yellow or orangey color. Then you want to take a round shape object to trace the circle shape. I'm going to use this ball right here. The diameter of this ball is about 8 inches. You don't have to have the diameter of the circle exactly 8 inches. It really depending on the object that you're using. But I recommend to stay between 6 and 8 and a half inches. So you're gonna need to cut two identical circles. Once you've done that, we're going to cut this. I recommend using the applique scissor. As you can see here, the blade is kind of curved and that makes cutting circle shape a lot easier. Prepare your ribbons. You're gonna need at least two different kinds and obviously you will need something that is very colorful. The width of your ribbon should be between half an inch and one inch. Now you wanna cut these ribbons into three inch strips. For me, I ended up using 18 strips of ribbons, so it may vary with you depending on the size of your circle. Now you wanna take one ribbon, fold this in a half, then you want to lay it on the right side of one of the circle. You want to make sure that the row edges are aligned, just like what I'm showing you here. Then you want to pin that in place. And then now you want to take another one, fold it in a half as well, and you want to place it about half an inch away from the other ribbon. So you want to alternate these ribbons and continue doing the same all around. Then you want to sew this with quarter inch of seam allowance. To make the eyes of this toy, you're gonna need a scrap of felt fabric in brown color. From this, you need to trace two circles about one inch in diameter. I'm using my thread spool here as the template. Now you want to place this on top of the other circle piece that's going to be the front piece. Place this about 2 inches away from the top and then you want to pin that in place. Now we're going to do a little bit of embroidery. So you want to use your embroidery needle or you can also use a hand sewing needle. But you want to use the larger one so you can fit all the six strands of the embroidery thread. And I'm using white color here. You want to do simple running stitches, about an eighth of an inch from the edge. Now we're going to draw his mouth. So I use a disappearing fabric marker to draw a curved line from one end to another, forming a smiley face, just like what I'm showing you here. And then you want to draw a straight line on both edges, just to define the smile, like what I'm showing you here. Now we are going to embroider the mouth, so I'm going to use the same six strands of embroidery thread in black color. And for this we are going to do back stitching, and this is a simple stitch as well, it's not that complicated. So you want to start from here, 
and then make your first stitch it's about a quarter of an inch you can simply eyeball it From here you want to go back to the end of the first stitch line, right there, and then you want to go past the last uh, stitching a quarter inch away. Then you want to continue on doing the same following the line that you've drawn here. Lay your front and back piece right side together. Secure that in place with pins or sewing clips. Then you want to sew all around this, leaving about 3 to 4 inches of opening at the bottom right there. Then we're going to sew this with 3 8 of an inch of seam allowance. I recommend using your walking foot just to ensure that your fabric isn't shifting too much but you can also do this job with normal food all right now that we've done sewing I'm going to turn this inside out but before that since this is a circle which obviously very curvy what you're gonna do first is to take your scissor then you want to cut through the edges here, but be careful not to cut through the stitches. So you want to cut all around about 3 8 of an inch gap. We do this to make sure that when we turn this piece inside out, the circle will lay flat. Now if you have a pinking shear, this is going to be a lot easier. So instead you can just use this to cut through the seam allowance. So you want to cut all around except of the opening part all right so once you've done that you want to turn this piece inside out through that opening hole so you're gonna end up with something like this now go ahead and stuff this with the fiber fill all right so once you've done stuffing this we're going to sew this uh, bottom opening close so you want to use a hand sewing needle obviously with the polyester thread and do the simple slip stitching to close this hole so what you want to do is simply to insert your needle into the fold so your thread will be invisible and then you want to do the same with the other side and go back and forth until this opening hole is closed all right once you've done sewing you want to make a knot on this tail end so to hide this tail end you want to Go ahead and sew from where the stitch end and then just sew inside the stuffing not all the way to the bottom part once you've done that you want to pull this thread a little bit and then cut and that's it you are pretty much done at this point so now you just want to go ahead and add the plastic rings And that's all I have for you today guys. Thumbs up if you like this tutorial and I shall see you next time with another fun sewing project. Goodbye!